What is strength? Is it the state of being strong? To be able to lift heavy weights or carry heavy objects? Is it just another synonym for resilience or endurance? Or is strength simply the opposite or the absence of weakness? Everyone knows what strength is, per se, but how can we truly define it? Well, well according to social activist Mahatma Gandhi, strength does not come from physical capacity. It comes from an indomitable will. According to famous actor Arnold Schwarzenegger, strength does not come from winning. It is your hardships that develop strength. According to my friends and family, strength is the ability to overcome weakness and turn it to your advantage. According to you, what do you believe strength is? Because from what I've gathered, from the sites I've researched from and the people I've asked, everyone has a slightly different image of strength in their minds. However, there is one main link, one main agreement between us all, and that is that strength is split between two parts, our physical strength and our mental strength. I'll elaborate. The, physical, the first part, our physical strength, is seen in our everyday lives. You only need to look to the person next to you, or the person behind you, or the person in front of you, to find an example of physical strength. It's linked to mostly gyms, and sports stadiums, and other places where the body is exerted with physical effort and exhausted through exercise to achieve strength. <laughs> This aspect of strength is so woven into our daily lives that we don't even need to think to assume that someone with a muscular body is strong. Don't believe me? Imagine this. You're walking down the street. You're passing a lot of people, but one guy stands out. This guy is a guy, except this guy isn't normal. He's buff. He has large arms, the veins popping out. He has a tank top with sweat and abs popping through. But the most prominent thing about him is that he obviously works out. Wouldn't you momentarily think, without pausing your walk, that, wow, that guy is strong? My point is, in our minds, it's automatically assumed that, with, that if someone has a muscular body, they're strong. <laughs> However, physical strength alone is not true strength as a whole. As Soman Santake said, <laughs> Physical strength is a visible and quantifiable form of mental strength, which is nothing but a degree to which capabilities are realized. It takes patience and diligence to achieve a high level of physical strength. And through patience and diligence comes the second form of strength, our mental capacity or our mental strength. Even though the effects of mental strength cannot be seen by the naked eye, it's still just as important, or even more important, than physical strength. Edmund Mbiaka said, the strength of your mind determines the quality of your life. <laughs> Under mental strength are the qualities which allow us to prosper in life, such as ambition, perseverance, as well as the ability to overcome the hardships which we cannot overcome with physical strength alone. Even if you are physically weak, you can be mentally strong. <laughs> Because to be mentally strong, you do not need a strong body, only a determined mind. And with a determined mind comes the strength which gets us through our suffering. In addition to these two types of strength, the word strength can also be defined as the positive traits of a person's character. This includes all the qualities I've mentioned under mental strength, but it also goes one step further to include all other attributes of a person's individual character. In this form, strength is used to describe the positive traits which can be used to a person's advantage or the talents that, we, that you are especially good at that you can benefit from. Other examples of this type of strength include honesty, humility, kindness, loyalty, and the other main My Little Pony characters. <laughs> For example, a lot of my friends and classmates are good at art. They do this for mostly their own enjoyment, though. They draw, they doodle, they draw cartoons, may even make DIY crafts. My, another example would be my brother. He can adapt easily to any situation, even when he doesn't know what's going on. 
he has often used this strength to overcome his educational troubles, such as his lessons. And once he puts in the effort, the results are good. And I'm very proud of him for this. <laughs> it doesn't even need to be a run of the mill, typically categorized as good characteristic. I, when, while preparing for this speech, I asked my friend what she thought her own personal strength was. And she replied, being random. When I asked why, she said, being random, because it makes me unpredictable. And by being unpredictable, I'm flexible, and I can adapt. However, when it comes to the strengths, I must admit, I'm not very confident in my own. I'm lazy, I'm messy, and I get way too angry at things too easily, and all the wrong kind of things. <laughs> this public speaking and spe even speaking in general sometimes definitely not one of my strengths. Um, coming forward today has been one of my greatest fears for a long time and I was honestly really really scared yesterday. <laughs> so last night I talked to the strongest person I know, which is my mom. <coughs> Among her many, many, many strengths is her strength of public speaking and communication. So I thought she'd have very high standards of me, as she usually does in all other aspects. However, along with being a good public speaker, she's also the best mom. So she knows me. She knows my strengths, and she knows my weaknesses. And she knows that I'm not good at this. So she told me, instead of prepping me and berating me and yelling, she doesn't do that, but instead of that, <laughs> she told me that if I was able to come up here today to overcome my fear, to talk and just talk in front of you all, it would be enough. I would be strong enough for this. And so I reached a decision and rewrote my conclusion. Earlier, at the very beginning, I told you all that I asked you all what strength is. And, later, and earlier, I also said that strength is different for everyone. Well, for me, right here, right now, in this moment, strength is a culmination of everything I've just said and done. <laughs> Physically, I've been able to come up here and stand here instead of breaking down or crying, which I thought I would do. Mentally, I've prepared myself for this moment, and I'm not doing any of those things. But most importantly, I realized that my strength and will of character was what brought all of my strengths together and what brought me here today. Thank you for listening. My name is Marielle and um, that's what I think strength is.